up, bloody bastards! Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> You okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <sighs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, Technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. They perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make... There. I'm gone for you. You see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. Next, he will show you the moving docks. Well, all right. Um, 
We must continue the demonstration! <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity. No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey. You really all work on your sales machine. Ah, Americans! What do you think about the sales? Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good! Now bring in the boat back here. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my uh, European coarseness. In the Balkans, uh, we are a mannerless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment with you once If you want to continue this conversation, we will do it at my lab, Dover here. A very good morning to you. And it's the pride of the morning here. The great Corgan paddle saver. Hey, I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh! My friend with no name! You found us! Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. 
Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this Grassney? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any... Goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What right a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Hey, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! Yeah. All, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 no. <laughs> let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> Come on, girl.
of them. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Look at the floor for a bit. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horse shit. I'm saving you. This is just a... Little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. This is it. Down here, it's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. You got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in my cousin? I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Well, that settles that then. Shut up. I shot him in the goddamn back! When these things happen... God damn you! Goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down! Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato! Come on! Draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Yet indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. 
No, that ain't my real name. Okay then, girl. I know they ain't good, but I'm good enough to see what I'm blue. This is hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. That's the most important thing. Oh, I know you two. Hey, look who it is. Oh. I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Uh, all right. But the law's pretty, well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hyde Mata, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Oh. I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. You're an unkind man, Mr. Black! Oh, let me in. Let... Let me in. Open the door. Come on, let me in. I'll kill you myself. Go away. Let me in. I... I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now let me in. Go away. I'm so... I'm... I'm... I'll make dinner again. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. like this, it'll fly much better. You're a useful fella to have around. Not everyone would agree. Like who? Bill, for one. Bill don't like nobody who's tougher or smarter than him. Which means he really don't like many people at all. Except for maybe that Kieran. <laughs> yeah. See? You learn quick. Morning, dear. Hi, Mr. Pearson. Hey. Good morning, morning. Hardest worker in camp. Someone's got to do it. Who's here? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. <laughs> 
There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is... <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>
Ok, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <ride> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Hello, sir. Champagne, sir? Good thing, sir. Good evening, sir. Alfred Lafonte. Gilbert Knightley. Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. Hello. What is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. Well, more like... My card, sir. Of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S., Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Sir, well, have you considered... Thank you again, my fellow adventurer. And please, do pay me a visit at my atelier. I'll try. Well, enjoy the rest of your life. Stay away from the... Oh, no, 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 Claire, where? Did you get that? Why, that would be telling. Oh, you. Why, you always so This is Mr. Hector Phelps. Yeah, it's been weeks. Mostly I'm but I try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, no, it's a new shirt. We uh, are in town. Oh, yes. what do you do? I come from a really beautiful man. Hmm. Yeah, the North I got it from Mr. Wasp. He's the finest milliner in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. Don't you think? Well, I don't quite understand. Well, you are not, it would seem, the only one. I mean, modern art is all very well, but my darling would do better. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not to miss the swampy hair. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> you're preaching again, Mrs. Whitmore. And you're very much my preaching. How was the show? I heard you went to <laughs> These dancers, well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. <laughs> oh, would you like tickets? What? This cabaret show at the Theater Ramour. It's jolly fun. You're different. 
Sure. You're my inferior. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> well. <laughs> It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, let's say you and me cool off. Hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, my lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, Miss Kate. A final warning. Now get out of my sight.
Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here, helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay.